Hello, welcome to Star Wars Spelt Out. I'm your host, Josh Chapman, and today, something very different video. What's this all about? <laughs> um, so, just doing a little video here, giving it a go, trying to do some video content, something different. Uh, the, to, this was the year that I decided to get into Kenner figures. I mean, I was always into Kenner figures, always have been ever since I was a kid, but this was the year that I was going to try and recapture my youth and get myself a damn full Kenner collection, which I've never had, never been close to having. Um, so I was egged on a little bit by some friends to, to, to get involved. And so I thought I would uh, do a few videos at the stuff that I end up getting. So I ended up buying a bulk lot off a guy off Marketplace. And um, I've got it here. So I thought I'd pull it out and have a look and see what we've got. So I've got another camera going here. It's a very rickety setup, so we'll see how we go. And I'll try to show that I can show at the same time. So just a little example, we'll see if it works here. Oh, look, it's Daddy Pig. There he is. He's just here to show us what he's up to. So hopefully I'll be able to put some things there and show that get that camera going at the same time as needed. We'll see. Because uh, I do a Peppa Pig podcast as well, in case you didn't know. If you're just here for the Star Wars content, get involved on that additionally as well. That's why I've got Daddy Pig's eye in my house and I've got small children. So there you go. Okay, so what we've got, we'll turn that off for now, see if that works. We've got the Balfs. Oh, here it is, a box of stuff. So yeah, I got this about a week ago from a bloke in Melbourne who was selling his collection. Now, it's a bit random. There are weapons and stuff at the bottom of this. I'll just sort of pull them out and show what I've got. I'm going for pretty low quality stuff here, guys, just to get it. So don't expect premium figures or anything like that. And if I get a name wrong, I get a name wrong. I know a fair bit. Don't know everything off the top of my head. I'll try and get it right. I'll try and get it. I might get it wrong. You know, abuse me in the comments if you want to. You know, I don't really care. <laughs> you can do it if you like. But let's just pull it out and have a look and see what we've got here. So to start off, whoops. We've got a couple of minifigs. So, right off the bat, we've got a the old little skiff, the mini rig skiff, which is actually in beautiful condition. Um, probably one of the best ones that's in there, really. So, we'll flick the other camera on and we'll see if we can put him under there. Can we see that? Sorry, Daddy Pig, we'll move you aside for a minute. And. Yeah, all the stickers are in there, all the bits are on it, all the sales stuff on here is is intact. I wasn't really looking for minifigs, but came with it. So why not? Enjoy. I've just realized I've got nowhere to put these if I take them out of the box. So I might need another box. Um, hmm. That is called not playing ahead. We'll just pop them over here for now. Pop them over there. So we'll just reach into the box and see what we've got next. Actually, I'll do this one now because that does clear some space. But we've got a second minifig. Whoops, there it is. The little mini Imperial Shuttle. This one's seen a bit of action though. It's, um, as you can see, it's got a bit of yellowing on it. Um, and it doesn't have its fin, unfortunately. So if we sit him under there, you can sort of see he's seen a bit more action. But he does have all his guns and everything. So it's not looking too bad. It's got all its decals. Inside here is actually part of the last minifig that I've got. But yeah, this one's seeing a bit of action here. It's um, probably lived at the bottom of a sandpit somewhere. Still cool to have. Nice little, um, yeah, few stains on there. Might need a little bit of work, but we'll pop him aside for now. Over there. There's probably about 30 figures here, so I'll probably go a little bit quicker just to... People get sick of looking at this, but people love unboxing videos, don't they? I've heard all about those. Um... Finally, Ewok Glider. There it is. There are actually the other bits for it. The boulder is there somewhere. It is intact, but an Ewok Glider is an Ewok Glider. I think that's a little bit for it. Just there, whoops. As you can see, under there, the boulders are here somewhere. So I'll have to have a look around for them, but he did assure me that there was the boulders were here, or at least one of them. Who knows? They'll be lying around somewhere, but I'll just get that bulky stuff out of the way. So I'll pop that over there, then we get to the real stuff, get to the figures. We have got... Oh, I didn't realise I had him. 
I think I marked him off my list of not actually having him. Let's start him off. Here he is. This little guy. Klaatu in Skiffguard outfit. I better mark him off. I thought that I didn't have... I thought that he wasn't actually there in that list. So there's a bonus. One I thought I had. I'm glad I didn't reorder that. So I got him. He's not in too bad, Nick. Again, the weapons are all sitting at the bottom. So they may or may not be in, the, in there. So... I wasn't too fussed on weapons, so we'll just work, work through. We've got a, whoops, an IG-88, the classic, except no substitutes. Pop him down there, as you can see. He's looking pretty good, in pretty good condition. Nothing much to worry about on there. Classic, one of my absolute favorites, Chewbacca. I did have a Chewie as a kid. I don't know where he's gone. He might have been the first Star Wars toy I ever got was Chewie. I wish I knew where he was. I'm going to have a hunt for him. I'll probably do a video because I've got some stuff still. Um, so I will do a video of the stuff that I actually had that will contribute to the collection as well. It's sitting. There's a couple back there, but I'll do a, a thing on that later. But Chewie can just sit next to IG-88 for now. I'll just add to them and I'll move them out of the way as I go, as I work these through here. Classic, the good old, the Admiral Akbar himself. He's looking pretty good. He hasn't got too much wear and tear. He's in pretty good condition. Pretty common figure though. Nothing too special about the old Admiral. Put, he can sit on top of Chewie there. Hello, Chewie. What have we got next? We've got... Uh, do, do, do. Where is he? Forlom, I think. 46... I got that wrong? No. No, not for long. It's the other one. It's not Zuckus. Or is my thing wrong? Is my reference thing giving me the wrong? I thought that was for long. Oh, I'm going to get comments about that. Where is it? On my list. I'm looking at it right now. 49. Zuckus. No, that list is wrong. I'm sure that's for long, and Zuckus is the other bloke. So... Matt Moll, if you're watching this, I don't know why you would be. That list you gave me is around the wrong way. I'm not crazy. Save your comments. Let's move him over to the middle. Four lums on there. Walrus man. Yep, not much to say about Walrus man. He's in pretty good condition. He's got a few marks and stuff on him, but I'm not too concerned. He can stay down there as well. We'll put him on top. We might just clear this pile so I can put some more stuff on here. We'll move them over there. Oop. That'll do. What else have we got in here? We've got a... Your bog stando Imperial Officer. Oh, okay. Imperial Commander, which I didn't have marked off my list. So that's another one that I want. I actually don't need to mark off. I might just put that aside so I remember to do it. I might do that with Klaatu as well. That just shows how diligent I was when I was marking this list off. Mm. Okay, so to speak. Don't worry about that. Then we've got... Where are you in the list so I can remember your name? Hmm. Anyway, this one. <laughs> what is his name again? Oh, God. I'm so rubbish with these names now. Where is it? It should be here somewhere. Matt, you're going to be screaming at me right now. People in the comments are going to be screaming at me right now. I can't see it. Oh, there he is, number eight. FX7, the medical droid. There you go. Yeah, classic. How could you forget him? Let's go to something a little bit more better known, hey? Let's go to Leah Organa. Classic. One of the classic ones, one of the originals, original 12, no blaster, no dress, but the figure itself is actually, can we see that, in very good condition. She's got a couple of little marks, I'm not quite sure whether she's a, she's got a 77 stamp on her, so she might be on one of the original, off, a, off an earlier one, perhaps, potentially, doesn't really matter. Then we dig into, now, I actually got, I've got two of these, or I've got one of two of these already at my parents' house, which I know I got, but I don't have the hat. And he was cheap. He was in the bundle, so I got him. The old Rancor Keeper, classic. How can you go wrong with him? 
find him everywhere. He's probably still warm and pegged somewhere around the world. You could probably go to a supermarket somewhere and he's probably still sitting on a peg somewhere. He was one of the very easiest ones to get back in the day. So Rancor Keeper, the old classics. Then we got an Ugnaught. He's still got his little, uh, still got his little mo smock on. So that's quite cool. I'd have to check what weapons he comes with, if anything, if I've got them in the box. So he's looking like he's in pretty good nick. We'll just see him on top of there with the others. Now, this guy definitely had a weapon with him, but I don't know where it is. It's in the bottom of the box somewhere, but it's Dengar. Good old Dengar, that prick that everybody hates. There he is. Got a few little marks on him. Still looking pretty good. Hello. I turned up in Rise of Skywalker for some reason. Put him there. Then we've got... Oh, shit. Ah, damn it. I thought I didn't have him. But I do. So now I might have got another one. Potentially coming. Well, that was dumb. And I should have known that he, he was still here. Crix Maydeen. The world's most boring action figure. How did I not know that he was already there? I should have done a better audit when I did this list. I think I've tried to source another one of these. Oh, that was dumb. All right, well, he'll be not exactly taking up a lot of room soon. He'll be at the back of the row somewhere. Let's put him in the little picture there anyway. He can sit there. Then we've got... What have we got after that? Let's skip that one. Snaggletooth. Red Snaggletooth, not blue Snaggletooth. He's looking pretty good though. Good nick. No complaints. I would like to get a blue snaggletooth one day, but it'll depend on price. Send me an offer if you got one. I'm willing to talk. You and Cricks can hang out. That uh, you guys got a lot to talk about. Now I think this is Kalatu. He's looking pretty worse for wear. He's seen some action, but who cares? Skiff guards, whatever. Apart from Barada. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Good to have him. He can sit there. No big, nothing too special about that one. Then we've got the, I think it's the ATST driver from Return of the Jedi. 71. I've got my lists. Yes, correct. Look out for the Wookiees. His boots. Oh, God, he's actually lost a whole bit of his. Can you see that? He's lost the back of his foot. Send him back. He might not even fit. He might not even. Um, be able to put the little peg on him. He might need to be replaced. We'll see. Again, I'm not too fussed about quality in too many respects, but that one's a bit annoying. Classic TIE fighter pilot. He's looking pretty good. Pretty good nick. In good condition. Got his feet. Bonus. Pop that there. What else? How can we forget? The man himself, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Original recipe. Here he is. There you go. Pretty good condition, actually. No lightsaber, no cloak. Wouldn't Would have liked him to have a lightsaber, actually. I might see if I can get a lightsaber for him. That'd be quite nice. He's looking pretty good. Let's pop him just there. Pretty happy with that. Then we're getting to quite a worse for wear, but I needed one. A R2-D2, a pop-up periscope R2-D2. There it is. It's not in the great best shape, this R2, but I needed him and, you know, whatever. He's R2. I've still got two other R2s I've got to deal with, but that's for another video. Then we've got a slightly pink-looking Stormtrooper. There he is. His arms and legs have gone a little off color. Doesn't really matter. He's just a stormtrooper. He's got to take the spot. He's got a little pink on the bottom of his foot. That's all right. One day he will uh, probably be replaced by a better one, but we'll see. He can sit there on top of our two. Nearly there. Only a few left to go here. We've got a Rebel Commando. Get into that shield bunker, buddy. Got a little bit of wear on the face. Doesn't really matter. He's not looking too bad. He can sit there. I think he might actually have a weapon somewhere. I'll have to have a look, see if I can source it from somewhere. 
Let's put in there. Whoop. Where are you? This camera is weird. There we go. A few more to go here, which we're getting. I'll oh, getting to the you know the bigger ones at the end. There is actually some interest, more interesting ones in here. We've got. Where are you? Weird droid. Do, do, do. Anyway, while I look for your name, I'll show it to you. This guy who was in the sand crawler. What is your name? Are you there on the list? Do, 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 do. I can't see you. People are yelling right now. You're in there somewhere. I'm not sure where. You've got some kind of name. It doesn't matter. You know who he is. He can sit under there. I'll find it in a minute, I'm sure. Not to worry about that. Then we've got Lando. Undercover Lando. Although he's got no helmet, he's got no weapon. But his face is looking pretty good. He's in pretty good condition, that Lando. I'll pop him there. You can sit over there. There you go. Then we've got... Captain Han Solo. Here he is in Hoth gear with a backpack, which I don't think belongs to him. I'm pretty sure it belongs to somebody else. Did he come with a backpack? Maybe. I've got no idea. But he's actually a very good condition figure. He's got no, pretty much no scuffs on him at all. He's looking very good. Yeah. I don't think it came with a backpack. So I got a backpack. It probably belongs to one of the other figures that normally sits here. He can sit there. Hello. Look. There you go. Got a couple more to go. Actually, you know what? We'll just continue that. We'll continue the vibe and we'll go to another Han Solo, which I had as a kid. I had this figure. He lost his head. We had to glue it back on. So he had a very stuck head for a number of years. This guy's head still works. I think this is big head Han. He looks like he's got a big head. I'd have to compare. He's seen some action. I don't think he has any blasters or anything. Very early figure that I had growing up. Can't quite read that. Looks got 77 on there. So it might be an OG. We'll put him on top of the pile. You can sit there, Han. And we've only got four or five to go here. So we'll just get through. Actually, we probably should do this straight after we do Han, which is Greedo. You guys got a lot to talk about. Did he have anything with him? I don't think he did. I mean, obviously a weapon, but it looks like he's he needs like a shirt or something. But he's pretty threadbare, Greedo. It's actually a pretty good condition. Boot's got a little bit of wear on it, but nothing to worry about. Let's just move those to the side. We'll put Greedo front and center. That's who we've got there. Three to go. So this guy is a little bit loosey-goosey, seen a bit of action. Adat driver. I say Adat. You can say whatever you like. I'm sticking with it. He's a, bit, a little bit yellow. He's a little bit loose. Hopefully he'll stand, but we'll see. Not too bad. And then the final three, because, you know, you saved the ones, the, the rarer ones for the end. So we've got some last 17s. So we got a Imperial Dignitary, who's lost his nose. Got your nose. Seen a bit of action, Imperial Dignitary. I have one of these, or my brother has one of these. It's somewhere at my parents' house. I don't know where. It might have gone, but I saw it recently in the last few years. But this was in the set, and I figured, well, I'll get the set anyway if it turns up. I'll sell this old one, keep my original. Still worth a fair bit, even though he's got a little bit of nose rub. He's still looking pretty good. Don't know if he came with any weapons or not. I've only got a few weapons here. I'm not sure who belongs to who. But um, that's that. I'll put him Imperial Dignitary for the three seconds of screen time that you had. Then we've got... Uh, where are we? We've got Lumat. Last 17 Ewok, in good condition, no bow, but he's got his strap and he's got his hat. So, well, you know, whatever. He doesn't have a hat. He doesn't have a bow. Just use a big pile of rocks to fight the Empire instead, mate. You'll be fine. So there he is. He's in good condition. Good to get a nice last 17 Ewok in there. And then lastly, we've got Oh, where is he? 93. Paplu. Another last 17 Ewok. Again, no stick. Got his hat. Pretty good. So, pretty good start, I'd say. Pretty good base to base everything off. Um, 
yeah, very happy with uh, with that as a lot as a sort of a base lot. Um, got some other stuff coming. Got a few other odds and sods. I've got another small order of just a few things I might just do a really quick video on maybe in the next couple of days. Then I've got a pretty decent lot coming as well, and there's a good story behind that as well. So that's kind of where we're where we're at. Whoops, sorry. We'll put the the the, the last seventeens there so people can see them. I probably should zoom in, but whatever two cameras what a world we live in so that's about it that's it for now if you've got any questions or comments or you want to ask stuff if you're in australia and you've got some stuff you want to swap or sell potentially star wars spelt out you can find me.com that's got linked to the socials got the podcast as well all that stuff got some funny t-shirts and merch and things out there as well so yeah thanks for listening and uh, i'll see you soon